Hi, my name is Brian K. Tonight video here, we're gonna have a little talk about pistons and rods and cylinders on this hydraulic cylinder. Over here we have a piston cylinder, we have the main shaft, our bearing, packing nut, and everything. We're gonna tell you what everything is done. So if you come over here, come a little closer, bring it all in. Over here, this is what rides on here. This is what slides on here for to move the shaft in and out. But through these knobs here is where we hook up our fluid line to push the hydraulic fluid in. This hill will slides in here. Then when you add pressure to it, you either push it out and you either put fluid in to retract it. On top of this piston here now, the fluid, you see the little lip on the piston itself? This needs to be facing the pressure. So when this faces the pressure, it either push it one way or the other way. As you can see, it always got a little lip. It always faces the pressure. The packing nut and what keeps it all locked in place, it screws onto the end of the shaft here, and it seals it in here. As you can see, we have even rubber O-rings also that fits around it on this cylinder. This cylinder here is used normally for heavy equipment uh, out there on either excavators and all of that. But tonight we have one here that's taken apart already inside of the shop so like I said you put fluid through here to extend it and for you to retract it you have fluid going in through this end to push it back in and that's how you can see how your cylinder actually work but we're gonna take a look at our cylinder shaft here on this rod or shaft however you want to say you can see it's very scarred up and it's a little bruised a little nicked and you can see the wearing on it and this here that lets you know that it's been rubbing on whatever on the inside of the cylinder. On the inside of this cylinder here that it rods in all day, you see the heat damage from the pressure. And everything, so that there guys, these are the different components that actually be inside of the cylinder. These three are the main components. You have your pistons, you have your packing. This keeps all the seals and grease everything or fluid inside the cylinder locked in tight. You have also a grease fitting on side of the cylinder. And you also want to keep that grease thoroughly so it doesn't come apart. And on the inside, I'm going to take a look on the inside. Yeah, as you can see, this is the inside here. It's a little dark right now on the inside. You know, you want to run your hands in for any damage. Or anything feel any if it's out of round you could use a dial indicator to check the the inside of the cylinder and you could put a dial indicator on the outside of this rod here or shaft so that there guys I just want you to hit like subscribe this is all the different components inside of a cylinder for hydraulics if it helps you in any way please hit like subscribe to your friends and anyone that it could help with thank you